Welcome to Couch Talk with Molly, where I get to talk it up with some fantastic people from First Pres Norman. Hello and welcome to, I'm going to say table talk, because we're going to sit at the table and eat some cookies and I'm excited to drink a ginger ale <laughs> <laughs> with Ken and Jean Kugler. I'm excited. And so tell us a little bit about yourselves. Jean? Okay. Um, well... I was born in Memphis, Tennessee, and my dad was a railroad man, so we lived in Memphis, and then we moved to Little Rock, and then came back, and St. Louis, and then came back to Memphis, where I went to college. I went to a Presbyterian College, Southwestern, which is now Rhodes College. When when I graduated, my um, big sister in the sorority took me out to the airport. She was a stewardess. And she introduced me to her boss. So I got a job with being a flight attendant on, um, well, it was CNS, but now it's Delta. So, um, and my timing was perfect because my major was Spanish and they were having a flight, uh, starting flights to Caracas, Venezuela. So um, I was a prime person. So anyway. That's what I did until I met Ken, and then I had to quit because they wouldn't let us uh, be married in the restaurant. But anyway, and so then Ken, you can tell them what <laughs> about yourself. Yes. Well, I'll start out. I was born in St. Louis, Missouri, but lived most of my youth in Southern Illinois, a town called Nashville. And that's going to be important. <laughs> and. Uh, <laughs> Not Nashville, Tennessee, but Not Nashville, Illinois. Illinois. Yes. Okay. And uh, so I got into uh, the Navy through the NAVCAD program, which was the Naval Aviation Cadet Program. I had enough college uh, credits and so forth. You needed two years of college at that time. And I'd gone to St. Louis University and uh, had a year and a half uh, yeah, a year and a half at the University of Illinois at the time, which was enough to get in the Navy flight program. And uh, after uh, getting my wings, earning my wings at uh, Pensacola, I was given a, a set of orders to Alameda, California and VF-64. And when I reported in there, I found out there was a young aviator who was returning from uh, Korea, actually, at the time, uh, whose name was Dick Arnold, Junius Harold Arnold, who was a brother of Jeannie. And that's how we met. Uh, she came out to visit them, and uh, Jean and I met at that time. She said, uh, where did you grow up? And I said, Nashville. And she thought, Tennessee. Okay, and, another volunteer. <laughs> <laughs> and things happened from there on. And uh, we were married. That was probably in 1953. And we were married in June of 54. Well, he said um, he knew he was going to go on another cruise. He said, well, will you wait for me? And I said, no, because I was 20. 21 or two at that time. I said, I'm not going to wait for you. <laughs> <laughs> well, you ended up doing something. <laughs> well, something went so right. he said, well, let's get married. So, <laughs> so okay. So we were married in Memphis, Tennessee. And, oh, wow. And, uh, and uh, from there on, I, uh, it was mostly Navy time. So uh, at the end of my time, I uh, committed to the Navy. Uh, in '55, we went back to the University of Illinois, and I, Jeannie put me through college. Yeah, I worked at the airport out there. Oh, that's awesome! Yeah, that was good. So, what did you get degree, your degree in? I got my degree in aeronautical engineering. Okay. I missed the Navy. Mm -hmm. uh, I you missed flying. Mm -hmm. I was still in the reserves, flying uh, once a month mm -hmm. with the weekend warriors. And I finally said, uh, if you'll give me a regular commission, I'll come back. And uh, that's what happened. Okay. So, How did you get to Norman? 
Well, okay. well, we moved 13 times, so this was our last move. Okay. Yeah. I came here as the uh, skipper of the NROTC unit on campus. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, he had 28 years in by the time his tour, actual tour, three years was up. So we decided to retire here because we it's a great place to live. Mm -hmm. So you said girls. How many kids do you have? Two girls. Two girls. Mm -hmm. Two daughters. Uh, after I retired from the Navy, I worked in in the ACE okay. uh, so office more or less. That is why there. you help with the carpentry yeah. and everything. Oh, right. he's, yeah. he's yeah. good at that. He, I tell um, you, I don't think we ever have many repair bills in this house. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you keep him around. <laughs> <laughs> right. So long. Yeah. So how long have you been married then? 66 years. Yeah, 1954. We arrived here in 1975, okay. and uh, you'd mentioned uh, you'd interviewed Jim mm -hmm. Crowley, mm -hmm. and Jeannie can tell you better about uh, the house we first bought here. Um, the person who owned it, who we bought it from, was a friend of the Crowleys. So the minute she found out we were Presbyterians, she called Molly. Okay. And Molly called me. And Molly said, I'll meet you at church. And uh, sure enough, that's what happened. She uh -huh. said, I'm blonde. And at that time, she was. And I, I'm sure I told her what I was going to wear. And somehow we hooked up. And we were friends ever since. Oh, and I love that. It was great. So Molly brought you to First Presbyterian that's Church right. in Norman. Yeah. That's super fun. Yeah, it was a it was a very good happenstance. So yes, yeah. yes. And so what have been so I told you this is the hard question. So what have been some of your favorite memories or what do you look forward to every year at the church? Well, I sang in the choir for twenty five years. Okay. And even maybe even more until my voice changed. <laughs> and so I enjoyed the Christmas preparing for the mm. Christmas program and then performing the Christmas program. It's wonderful. Clark is such a great person. And you know, I feel like he held the church together in all this trouble. He was always faithful and had a wonderful musical program. And mm -hmm. I really have told him that I felt like he had held us together. And yes. Mm -hmm. my, my favorite time? Uh -huh. Yeah. I guess uh, it was working with uh, Bill Lewis and Alan Montgomery. Mm -hmm. The Three Musketeers. Uh, yeah, and then uh, with Jerry and uh, Rex. Mm -hmm. But uh, we have good times on there. Just, I don't know whether we accomplished much that <laughs> needs to be done, but we, we find something. I uh, think you did. I, I think, think yeah. you've done plenty around <laughs> this building. Yeah. Well, it's been enjoyable in that. Uh, services, I'd, I'd say that uh, look forward to Christmas uh, Christmas services and, and uh, Easter. And, and, I, and, and Michael's first sermon. It was wonderful, and Jim Burns popped up and started clapping. Oh. I don't know if you remember that. But. No. Having been at the church then for since 1974, five, 1975, what would be some of your hopes and dreams as we continue to move forward? What would be some things you'd like to see either continue at the church or happen at the church? Well, I'm not sure. I... I hope we can continue as we're going. Uh, I think we're doing good in the community, and, and you know, I'm I'm pleased. I don't I don't have any dreams or hopes for us. <laughs> well, the of course the pandemic uh, has really affected everything that's going on, but uh, I, it seems to me that uh, those who have uh, say so in what's going on? They're doing a good job right now, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. hang, we're hanging in there mm -hmm. very well. Mm -hmm. uh, of course, I'd always like to see more uh, attendance and, and uh, bigger numbers in the mm -hmm. coffers and so forth. But uh, 
that, that all comes by hard work and uh, mm -hmm. persistence. And I think uh, the leaders of the church right now are, are doing a good job. I think we've got quality. Mm -hmm. And we pick that numbers, but yeah. right. When the uh, planning committee was talking years and years ago about, uh, I think at the time there were three phases that we were going to go through. Mm -hmm. One was the courtyard atrium, mm -hmm. and then there was going to be a building to the south on the parking lot, or there was consideration of a the building there. And then uh, there was one other phase that I've forgotten now. Mm -hmm. But at any rate, the building to the south was supposed to house the thrift shop, and consideration at the time was there would be the thrift shop and the Boy Scout uh, oh. area mm -hmm. in that. And they were talking about expanding you know be some classrooms available more classrooms right. so th this was looking at a bigger church attendance than what we have at the present mm -hmm. but uh, i've always thought that uh, it's a shame that at least we, we didn't get the thrift shop mm -hmm. something new in there. Right. and uh, i admire admire the ladies and, and that ruth and them have done a Great job and continually keep that thing going. I, I just marvel at what they're doing. Well, I but, can't wait to get back and see people yeah. again. Mm -hmm. I mean, I really miss everybody. I miss the being together. This has been Couch Talk with Molly. My thanks to Ken and Jean for taking the time to talk it up with me at their kitchen table. Well, thank you both so much for taking the time to sit with me. Well, and well I hope you will censor you. what you don't want to I, <laughs> I will make y'all look really good. Yeah. <laughs>